It's summer, it's super hot. And what I love about summer is barbecue ribs. But today we're going to make a sticky, sweet and spicy Asian style ribs that you can throw right on the barbie. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Let's get started. We have five and a half pounds of pork back ribs. You can use side ribs, baby back ribs, country style ribs, whatever kind you like, so long as it's pork, because that will be what goes best with this rub. I'm starting off with a tablespoon of kosher salt. This is a teaspoon, so bear with me. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. One tablespoon of paprika. One teaspoon of ground ginger. No, oh, I thought I had more in there. Okay, so whatever I have in here, if you have a teaspoon, that's great. One teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of garlic powder, and about one teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Or until your hand gets tired. That should be good enough. I'm just gonna stir it up. I find using a rub actually makes the ribs more flavorful before putting it in the Instant Pot, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna use half of it on one slab and the other half. You know, I'm making a huge mess here on the floor. That would be a behind the scenes look. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub it in. And I'm gonna cut them into slabs of about three to four ribs each. That just makes it easier to get them into the pot and also for serving. I already have a cup of water inside the Instant Pot along with a trivet. And we're just gonna lay these kind of on top. Oh, by the way, I've already removed the silver skin from the back. Just in case anyone was wondering. And the last piece. Okay. Locking the lid into place, making sure the ceiling knob is on a ceiling. And we're gonna cook these on high pressure for 15 minutes. I like them with a little bit of tug on the bones, but if you want them more fall off the bone, then I would give it at least 18 to 20 minutes. It's up to you. While the ribs are cooking, and by the way, I am using a six quart instant pot. As you can see, the ribs fit just nicely in there. If you want to use an eight quart, that's totally fine as well. If you're using a three quart, you might have to cut down that recipe. Let's start making the sauce while the ribs are cooking. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of hoisin sauce, quarter cup of oyster sauce, quarter cup of honey, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper, or however much you want to taste. Oh, I sense the heat. It's gonna be sweet and spicy. And a quarter cup of brown sugar. And we're just going to whisk all this together. And that's your sauce. All right, so it's really not that thick when you mix everything together. 
All right, I quick released the pressure and let's see. Oh, they look good. Let's see that the rub is still on them. So there's flavor. And I've lined a sheet pan with some aluminum foil. Normally I would line it with parchment paper because I don't really like using aluminum, but I'm totally out of parchment paper. And this is probably safer anyways. And for the UK folks, it's aluminum. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them upside down so that I can baste the underside with the sauce. I usually get my fill of barbecue ribs at the Peony, which is a yearly fair that we have here. But this year it's been canceled due to the pandemic, but that's okay. We can make delicious ribs at home. I'm just gonna lightly brush the underside and just put them under the broiler for about three minutes. And then I'm gonna flip them over and sauce up the other side. Right, three minutes under the broiler. All right, see, that was only three minutes under the broiler. On the grill, it would be like amazing. I wish we had a grill. How come we don't have a grill? Is that a hint? So now I'm really gonna sauce them up. So I made a whole cup of this. So you're gonna spread it on liberal. Yeah, liberal. so let's use it up. Uh, excuse me, uh, you missed a section. Right? Oh, sorry. Excuse me, you missed another section. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, are you like the barbecue sauce police? I'm just trying to help you all grow it because you said you want to use up all the sauce. So oh, I'm yeah, just trying okay. to help you all right, all right, all right. Okay, I still have some sauce left. Let's get it all on there. Did I miss any spots, dude? Not that I can see. Oh, actually, yeah. No, no, you got it accidentally. <laughs> Don't waste. Yes. All right, now we're gonna keep this under the broiler for five minutes to get even more caramelization all over it. So this is the real me. <laughs> you still can be bothered. We need smell-o-vision and we need taste-vision. <laughs> All right, one last touch. If you have roasted sesame seeds, these are this is awesome because I can just shake it over top. And one thing that I don't have is cilantro, but I wanted to chop up some cilantro for this too. All right, are you all ready for? <sighs> the taste. I had uh, an energy bar before the shoot, but I think I'm, it's, uh, it's wearing off now, so um, I need to eat. So as you said, you cook your ribs with tug still left in there, but you can still see the juiciness. I hope you can see that, guys. I was gonna eat with fork and knife, but Y'all probably give me a hard time for like, come on, be a man. Eat the ribs with your hands, buddy. <laughs> oh, I can tell <laughs> this is going to be a sticky one. So good. Oh, hi. It's good, though. Mmm, mmm. That rub makes such a difference because the flavoring goes past just the sauce on the exterior, just on the surface. And you get that rub that uh, is penetrated in from the pressure cooker. And the ribs have that texture that is not fall off the bone, but that's how we like it. It uh, has a nice tug to it, but it's really tender throughout. Thanks for putting sauce on the other side and putting it in the oven for a little bit. The sauce is sweet sticky it's got that heat in there not overtly spicy but just has that uniform heat so good dude thanks dude mm-hmm dude 
I can't wait to dig in. I know earlier I said that if you had some cilantro to add that to it, but you know what? A lot of people don't even like cilantro, but I would have liked that extra bit of freshness added to the ribs. I think that would have been a good addition. But again, if you don't like cilantro, it's not gonna make a difference for you. You probably like it better like this. To check out another ribs recipe, I'll see you over there.